Hello, this is the Provoked Prawn, and this is the Rocket Horde Amo, a membrane-style gaming keyboard from Rocket, which is an affordable keyboard with an interesting design in a market jam-packed full of mechanical keyboards. This is actually a quiet membrane keyboard. It's uh, This is an unboxing video, we're just going to do a quick overview of it as well, because it's quite interesting. It's um, quite large comes with a plastic wrist rest uh, and which is actually surprisingly comfortable and uh, as I said membrane style keys so these are it's not the clickety clackety fun of the mechanical keyboards it's actually quiet and very comfortable for typing on and pretty good for gameplay as well it has a mass of media buttons that include the usual play pause rewind volume up and down mic mute whatnot this is also an RGB keyboard Initial reviews of this elsewhere have pointed out that it is quite dim in terms of lighting. The keys do not light up as you might expect uh, yeah, on an RGB key keyboard to do. It, um, that's because of the design of the keys. They basically don't leave any bleeding around the edges. And the top of the keycaps where the laser etching is with the numbers and letters on them, that's where the light comes from, so it's quite dim. It's actually quite good though because it's not an offensive lighting for night so it doesn't get too bright when you're playing at night which is good um, and there's a number of settings within the software that you can use to adjust it uh, you can oh, it's an AMO keyboard so it matches up with the other AMO stuff if you have a headset or the mouse you can get the color going between them and then there's a variety of other settings within the software that allow you to change uh, the lighting according to your desires so there's the color wave snake fully lit heartbeat uh, breathing and then custom and you can choose the colors. So to be honest, I mean the RGB of it is uh, during the day you can barely see it uh, even on maximum brightness uh, it's, that, it's that dim so if RGB lighting is what you're after then I wouldn't go for this keyboard to be honest but that said, um, despite the price point it's a comfortable keyboard it does feel very plastic, it looks cheap it feels cheap but that doesn't mean it's not good quality. It does feel like a good quality keyboard. Um, it has a nice long braided cable, as you can see from the video here. And uh, there's not much more else to say about it, really. At the moment, it's just a, it's a good option, a, a cheap option. It certainly doesn't stand up against the higher end keyboards from uh, Asus and Corsair and the other ones that uh, I've tested in the past, but. I don't think it should be dismissed, and if, you, if you're the sort of person that doesn't really like mechanical keyboards and you like the quiet membrane style, you want your key presses to be pretty quiet, then uh, this is the good keyboard option. Thanks for checking out the video. I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of my uh, unboxing video, and if you like this, please subscribe, like, drop us a comment, and come back for more in the future. Thanks for watching.